Hey everyone, I'm Elliot Simpson, an adventure photographer from the UK, and I'm here in Cornwall for Xiaomi's Beyond the Postcard Challenge. So Xiaomi have challenged me to create a better image than your standard postcard, and I'll be walking you through some tips and tricks and some amazing locations down here so you can do just that. So we're at our first location now. We're at this absolutely beautiful hidden cove on the coast of Cornwall. We've got this amazing landscape in the background sweeping around. We've got Matt in the foreground, so it's like a small person, big landscape type feel. And we've got the sun setting behind us, lighting up the side of Matt. So I'm going to walk you through some settings to make your photos better than the average postcard. So for this again, we're in pro mode. And we've got, make sure you've got raw on and we've got the grid lines on as well to help us compose the image. So we've got Matt in the lower third of the image and we've got the rock here in the foreground. Then we've got the white balance on auto, pretty much everything on auto. Make sure you've got the spot metering tool here is on frame average and you can select it here, focus on that. And then you can grab this, and select different metering points in the image if you need to. But we're just gonna click there and stay with that got the exposure compensation at about minus one, minus 1.3, that looks good. And I've got Matt in the foreground here. It's really nicely composed with the leading, leading lines in the back. And we're just gonna fire off a few here. So like the dynamic range of this, especially in raw modes, is absolutely shining here. Images look amazing. So now we've got those shots in the bag, we're going to wait around until it gets a bit darker and the stars come out. And then I'm going to show you the difference between the day and the night photo and how it can completely transform the feeling of the image. So it's dark now, the moon's out and so are the stars. And I'm going to walk you through a few tips that you need for astrophotography with the Xiaomi Mi 11. Turn on the raw setting and focus peaking. Then we're going to go into the shutter speed and for this we're going to go for around 20. And the ISO we're going to go for around 1000 because the moon is quite bright. Then the white balance. We're going to give it a nice cool feel because it's night time. So I'm going to go for around 3800. Make sure that's all fine. And then once we know we've got those settings we're going to get Matt to come down and stand on the ledge with the head torch and create a really cool contrast between the daytime and the nighttime image. So now we're happy with the composition and exposure. I'm going to get Matt to come down and stand on the ledge and then we're going to fire off a few shots and get it in the bag. Okay, now we're in blue hour, uh, the sunset over there. It's uh, getting a bit darker and we've got the headlight on the bike. We've got the contrast of his white helmet here and we're shooting in pro mode. So we've got the ISO bumped up a little bit. The great thing about this is we can control the shutter speed. Bring the shutter speed down just to make it a bit brighter and make sure you're on the wide lens as it's got the fastest aperture and it lets the most light in. So just going to play around with some angles here and get a bit low and get a bit more reflection going on. So I'm really happy with how these are looking. I'm just going to experiment a bit more of the composition and make sure we're making the most of the light we have. Thanks for joining me on this adventure with the Xiaomi Mi 11. I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you on the next one.